Okay, guys. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another great episode in store for you guys. We have a wonderful guest, Luminous Raw. Her name is Anastasia. She has a great YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. And a wonderful story. I saw a reel pop up on Instagram about how eight months ago she had a tumor and she was told the only way to get rid of this was surgery. And she decided to embark on a long juice fast instead. You guys, she is on day 270 today. This is crazy. This is so long. So we're going to find out her results. And I know way back when in the past, she went raw vegan at one point and she experienced a lot of healing, I believe, with some health problems she had too. So we're going to find out her story and she seems absolutely amazing. Anastasia, how's it going? Thanks for coming on. It's going great. Thank you so much for having me, Jillian. Yeah, of course. How are you feeling on 270 days of only juice? Some people think you can't survive. So how are you feeling? I feel better than ever in my life honestly and it's getting exponentially better and better day by day so I go like can it be that good <laughs> how much juice are you drinking in a day and how long are you gonna go I drink at least a gallon of juice a day sometimes I go up to two and I don't have the end date for how long I'm gonna go I just go with my body what I feel right now in the moment so that's very important for me I think that's important for everybody. I think it's important to listen to yourself. And how are your teeth on this? Some people think that might destroy your teeth during this long on juicing. <laughs> I uh, used to think this on my first long-term juice fast. That was kind of the myth I battled. And on this juice fast, I'm finding out that uh, actually the more alkaline juices are, so the more fruits we drink, the better it is for our teeth. Yeah. Unless we eat cooked food on mm -hmm. top of it, or we eat some toxic food that creates toxicity in our body. And then together with juices, it mixes. And that's when the acid starts destroying teeth. Yeah. And before we talk about this big, amazing juice fast, you had some experience with cooked food. I think it was 2018 or so you transitioned from cooked vegan, right? Or cooked food to fully raw food. Like I eat fully raw vegan. And I'm just wondering, what did you notice at that? But then after that, you fell off, right? And then at some point you developed the tumor, which we'll talk about. But when you initially went raw years ago, I'm wondering what benefits you experienced and what happened at that time? So, yeah, I, well, I'll go back a little bit. First, I switched to vegan in 2015 when my son was born. During the labor, I had this amazing spiritual experience when I just felt this amazing oneness with everything and everyone that I decided that I will not eat any more products anymore. So I just, my heart said no, and my body embraced it. And at that time I had rheumatoid arthritis, which is considered to be incurable disease. And being a new mom, I was afraid that I would not be able to cope with having that disease and having a child because it was a lot it's basically swollen joints every single day flares up you know a lot of pain a lot of inflammation very limited movement so you can imagine as a mom it's a problem right yeah so when i went vegan within a month my symptoms just disappeared so i was honestly so surprised that it got me into research on a, on the importance of diet yeah and before that i already was into health and everything but that point really changed my perception on what i believed in before that i needed to eat that and yet when i quit it i felt so much better yeah so yeah at that point i already didn't have symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and I also had a lot of multiple chronic diseases that came either together with it or from medications that I used to take so there was a lot I used to be on 17 different medications wow. at that time I lost my hair at some point because I used to take cancer medications steroids all sorts of things <laughs> and yeah. yeah it was really rough on my body and in 2018, I was inspired once more to go raw. And it was very unusual to me because it, it was, again, this, you know, inspiration. It came from my heart. It was not the pressure from outside. It was 
simply the experience of life. I came home from a farmer's market with my son and I started cooking those beautiful vegetables that I got. And the color just vanished from them. And so I all of a sudden got this download that I should eat for color. I should eat for this beautiful freshness, for this water in the fruits and vegetables. And so it just turned my life around like <laughs> completely. And yeah, I went raw overnight and I felt great. I felt even better than when I was vegan. Mm -hmm. So I got more energy. My, my body movement improved even more. So I became more flexible. I started getting into cycling so I got interested back in life and it was an amazing experience and then I found out that actually we can also do a juice fasting so go if I may say a level up and yeah. see what happens next yeah and I'm a very curious person and I'm try all the healing techniques, all the natural healing techniques and methods that I come across and see how that feels. And raw vegan really resonated with me, with my body, with my energy. And when I came across juicing, it, it just changed my life even further. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And then, so after that, so you did develop some health problems after all that, because you went off track a bit, right. And went back to the old habits. Yeah. And then I you do. develop, I think you said it's a fibroid, a fibroid tumor, right? Mm -hmm. So take us into that. What happened and what led you to this long juice fast? Like what, what made you want to start this and what exactly happened there? Yeah. So when I started my previous long juice fast, four months juice fast, I was in an environment that was not supportive of mm -hmm. my journey, I would say. My son was very supportive, but he was three years old. So yeah, <laughs> that was, yeah. and my husband at that time, he was not resonating on the same vibration with the whole juice fast thing. And uh, it, it just showed me at that time that the relationship I was in was actually toxic as well as my body was still toxic and detoxifying from all the medications that I used to take before from all the diseases that I had, the same applied to my relationship, the same applied to probably decisions that I used to make too. And so all the layers on that long four month juice fast started peeling off. Wow. And the truth that I faced was right there in front of my face and it was up to me whether I would deny it was the truth and continue going on with that or I would really listen and trust the universe that everything is aligning in my favor and so I listened to that and I decided to leave my husband wow <laughs> yes and it was really hard because I I was you know at, at that time we just moved to the new city I didn't have many friends over there I had a three-year-old child. I didn't have family. And it was like, it was in the middle of COVID too. And nobody was showing the apartments or anything like this. But I got this courage from the juice fast that I was on that I, I felt the alignment. I felt the synchronicity and I felt that it needed to be done. So I listened again and I did it. And wow. the whole the universe of gifts opened up for me after that point because I continued being raw yeah. after I finished my juice fast. I had a lot of energy. I was able to improve my living environment because I didn't have any more energy that was toxic around me. So everything started improving very fast in my life. Wow. So things that I wanted started coming to me. Things that I needed as well so my dreams that I I had at some point in life I told myself let's do it let's just go ahead and follow my dreams and everything became easy too and at that time I also got back to practicing yoga 
I think it's important to mention because it goes together. Juice fasting and yoga go together in my journey. And they balance one another. They, they, it's a flow of both. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I decide in right now on the day 270. Yeah. So, yeah day yeah. 270, right? Yes. And, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And so when I, when I left my husband and when life started changing rapidly, at some point I had this really a moment of self-doubt, mm-hmm. I would say. When I asked myself, do I deserve this life? You know, something, this little girl inside of me was scared because life changed. It became different after just that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people just fell off my life automatically for the same reason wow. that, you know, you can't carry a toxic relationship when you are healthy. So I felt very healthy. I felt very energetic and it felt odd especially when people were scared with COVID and things like that. And it didn't affect me. So I was in this space of being alone Mm -hmm. in my journey. And I realized that if I don't kind of socialize with people, if I stay a a loner after the juice fast, maybe, you know, I would not enjoy my life as much. Mm-hmm. And so there was this this moment, this entanglement of different feelings that I didn't understand at that point. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of fear deep inside of me, which I also didn't understand at that point. And I slipped into eating cooked vegan food. So mm-hmm. I, at some point I was just, I, I was cooking this, nice vegan lasagna for my son you know and I was like oh let me try a slice yeah and it felt of course it made me feel you know completely different than when you eat raw I I think you can relate yeah I can relate (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah it it really you know takes away the energy from the body almost immediately and that's how I felt at least and it made me like process this food hard and you know I felt sleepy I felt like the symptoms of you know detoxification basically my body started creating this mucus and it was it was really strange and by that time I was raw already I was three years raw and I was juicing a lot so it was hard on my body and of course I it was also very subtle that's what I would like to Mm -hmm. say to people you know who struggle on this journey that we need to be really gentle on ourselves that when we slip back into eating cooked food whatever it is we need to stay with ourselves and love ourselves even in that expression you know like okay let me try it and I know that it was necessary for my journey I really am thankful that I went through this experience you know Mm-hmm. that I did go back, that I did see the difference for myself. Yeah. So I can learn it again, you know, the second time you learn better. True. <laughs> <laughs> or the third or the fourth or the fifth. So then what? So then fast forward a little bit of time and you started to get some health problems. And then that's what led you to this long juice fast. Yes. And so basically I, um, I didn't really like indulge in eating cooked food and I also didn't eat fast food I always would cook at home you know some simple vegetables and I noticed this decrease of energy the first thing that started happening is let's say I would say I was 80% raw and 20% cooked so that's how it went and still I noticed this decrease of energy that's totally different I would say even in my yoga practice I felt that I became less flexible, so my body became more stiff again. And even though I didn't really have any symptoms Mm -hmm. at that point, I felt different in my body and I didn't really like it. I I felt that the vibration was different. You know, if you can relate to it, but the the level of uh, connection with everything, I always felt the connection and 
when you're raw, it just feels like in your body, like there's electricity in mm -hmm. a way. Mm -hmm. And so I stopped feeling that and I missed that feeling a lot. And I noticed also my energy became more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So I believe that when people have blockages in their energy, in any way, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, that's when disease manifests. So I felt that together with the physical blockages in my intestines, I did feel this energetic and emotional blockages as well. And it became harder for me to practice yoga. And that's when I really dove into the, into the other side of yoga, into the spiritual side of yoga. And that led me back to raw and to juice fast. But before it did, I got, I got sick physically. And I do believe several things contributed to that. Again, as I said, mental, emotional, and physical, they all go together, inseparable. Mm -hmm. And I started feeling, oh, I also got exposed to, to mold. So mm -hmm. it was in January 2021. I got super sick and at that time I was eating mostly raw and I was surprised because I it, I didn't know where it came from. I knew that it couldn't really come from my food mm -hmm. because it was still more clean than most of the vegan food. But I started feeling, you know, very weak. My skin became pale. I had difficulties breathing and after a month I found out that at the workplace where I was at that time, we had the growth of mold everywhere and wow. I got infected with mold. So I almost died. I I was in bed for seven days. I easy. Thank God you're okay. Jeez. Yes. And it that experience experience shook me to the bottom of my heart. It was like, okay, wake up, you gotta go raw again. You really got to do it completely 100% because look how vulnerable the body becomes when already there is energy not flowing properly. So I I healed myself with juicing at that time. I didn't even go to a doctor, you know, I didn't even want, want to deal with the whole thing of taking, you know, blood work and everything because I already knew what was happening with me and I already got my detoxification certification by that yeah. time so I was like okay I'm gonna heal myself but then the next thing that happened is in August I felt all of a sudden I felt a lot of pain in my lower abdomen and I thought it was an ovary I just wanted to know what was going on I didn't I had no idea and the pain became so strong that I had to go to ER wow and it was strange deja vu of you know spending a lot of time in the hospitals before and there I was I haven't been in the hospital since 2018 or yeah. even before that 2015 and there I was again all all that environment just brought me back to those memories and they ran ultrasound and turned out that I had a eight centimeter tumor in my uterus Wow. So it's it's the size of a large bell pepper, you can say, or a mango. Pretty so big. Like, that's big. It, it was big. I actually could see it through, you know, through my my belly. It was actually visible. And it was, I was not surprised, Jillian, though. You know, I was not surprised at all because I already knew, you know, sleeping back to eating cooked, being exposed to mold. So there were a lot of toxins already in my body. Plus, I was doing a lot of spiritual work at that time. After my divorce, I had to reconcile with, you know, with everything and sit with myself, with my shadows, with my light and embrace mm -hmm. the whole thing. And I was also not surprised that it manifested in my uterus because Right now, I feel like there is this epidemic of women who have problems in their fe fe feminine organs, and it's very indicative of, you know, the 
I would say what's going on in the world, like this oppressive culture and society who really don't let us create fully. And we still are tied to, you know, working for people. And a lot of people, they go and do nine to five, you know, they don't have financial freedom. And I was, I saw a lot of this, you know, I traveled a lot. It's not only here in America. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of places have it. And so this, this balance of yin and yang of this feminine and masculine energies, that's what I started discovering on my further healing journey. And that's why I was not surprised it was in the uterus. So there was a lot to process, you know. Wow. And then what? So then they suggested you do surgery, right? To remove it, obviously. But yes. you didn't get surgery. You didn't want to have surgery to remove it. You decided to embark on juicing instead. Yes, that, of course. <laughs> it was totally surreal to be at the doctor's office and hear her saying that, you know, oh, you look very healthy. I do not know why you have it. And so she went over the options that I had. First, she asked me if I was done with having children because I'm almost 40. So she asked that question and I said no I would love to have more children so she goes okay so we wanted to offer you a hysterectomy basically taking the whole uterus out which wow. puts a, a woman into menopause immediately wow it's 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 not a gentle procedure procedure to have so it definitely their first option for this kind of scenario with uh, uterine fibroids and then the mm. second option that they offered me was myomectomy which is taking out just the fibroid but they still can't save the whole uterus they still would need to take a part of it and stitch it and try to put it back together mm -hmm. and they, there would be no guarantee that wow. I would have children. So it's it's a Russian roulette, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not, I was not willing to play that. So. No. <laughs> and uh, moreover, I already knew. So to me, it was really revealing this experience that when the doctor said, we don't know the cause for this, I just chuckled slightly in my heart and I... I smiled and I said, okay, thank you so much for all the information you gave me. Also, she told me that before myomectomy, they would have to put me on very strong hormones wow. that would shrink the fibroid and somewhat. So basically a couple of centimeters, a couple of inches. But that would also put me in the state of menopause. Wow. And then yeah. they would do the surgery. <laughs> so... To me, obviously, those options wouldn't work. And I asked her to get back to her after a couple of months. And so, yeah, I just went home. And <laughs> at that time, I my juicer part was broken. And I was waiting for it to come to my mail for the replacement part. And the morning it came, I said, yes, I'm going to juice fast. And I feel it was a perfect day for that too it was very foggy outside very like this london style weather <laughs> I would say. and what kind yeah. of juicer did you get i know people always ask what kind of juicer did you get i had uh, an omega juicer so yeah. i've been juicing with omega since 2019 since i got it on craigslist you know for 75 dollars somebody used wow. it twice amazing it was almost brand new. You know, a lot yeah. of people ask me now also, where do you get your juicer? And sometimes I tell people who don't have enough money, go and find it on Facebook and get you the used one. That's get the what machine. I used to do too. Yeah. Yeah. Get the machine and see the miracles for yourself and then invest in something that you love, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Now I use the Nama. The Nama is amazing. I don't know if you've used it, oh. but... It's so good. Yeah. I'll link it down below with the code if you guys want to save $55 because I'm affiliated with them because I love it. It's the best. It's life-changing. It's so easy to use. Okay, so then you use the Omega. That's what you, if you've been using for the whole time, for all of this? Yes. Wow. I, I heard a lot about Nama from your channel, so I, yeah. I can't wait to try that when I get a chance. Yeah, it's easy um, to use, but okay, so yeah. Omega, and yeah. Keep my, going, my, yeah, so... 
you've stuck I'm- to this for this many days with the Omega. That's pretty amazing. Cause I, I, the Omega is a great juicer. I just used to get frustrated with the whole putting it together and taking it apart that process. So good for you. And yeah. Amazing. How long? So what's the status now? Do you still have the tumor in any way, shape or form, or did it go away completely or how long did it take to see results or what is going on? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people are curious about this. When I went to a doctor in April, I finally got a, a referral for ultrasound. It was kind of hard to get it. Also, if there are a lot of people want it or need it and so mm-hmm. I was waiting for some time and finally I got it I planned to stop my juice fast uh, before my birthday in April and so it just aligned the way that right before my birthday I went to get the ultrasound done and I found out several days later that the tumor reduced three centimeters down wow. so it was a lot is so it's basically from the size of a mango to the size of like a lemon yeah you know and it was a lot and they called me and they told me that surgery was no longer needed wow because it keeps reducing it keeps going down and they yeah they just they didn't ask anything because now I start finding out that they can't by law so they're very tied up you know, by the by what they can say and what they yeah. cannot. And I understand that. But I Oh, felt like they amazing. can't say what are you doing? Or they yeah, oh, really? They wow. cannot ask. Yes. When I healed my rheumatoid arthritis, my doctor told me that it was a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. So well, good uh, for you taking your own path and doing what feels right to you. You know, everybody has to do what feels right to them, even if that is surgery or taking this route or whatever feels right to you. So you feel confident you chose the right path and then it'll be completely gone, I guess, at one point. Yes, yes. And I agree with you. Everyone should do what is best for them. You know, I don't have anything um, against surgeries. I've had multiple surgeries at the times I was sick. You know, I was cut all over my body. So I um, really think that our journey brings us to certain points in life. And right now I am at that point when I knew what to choose for myself that would make me feel much better. Mm -hmm. And I also knew how surgery would feel and what, what consequences I would deal with after surgery. I was very much aware of it and my choice was very conscious. So when I went on a juice fast, I knew it would not be, I knew it wouldn't be a short one. Yeah. I felt it in my heart. And I also knew that eight centimeter mass, a tumor mass, which is sitting inside the organ is something to work on because tumors and fibroids are the fourth stage of the disease, which is the last stage of the disease. Wow. Uh, And when we study the detoxification process, the tumors are basically the hardest to detoxify but they are also very easy to remove with just fruit juice or just mono grape diet and herbal tinctures or herbal teas things like that because herbs they regenerate the tissues they regenerate the organs and they Mm -hmm. bring body back to the state of balance to the state of homeostasis yeah and what, so what has a day in the life looked like on this juice fast? Like, uh, what types of juices are you drinking? So I started with uh, a variety of juices. I used to drink two fruit juices and then two vegetable juices, basically, or mm-hmm. as I called them, salad juices. They're more savory, like I would put garlic in uh, in juice or jalapeno, things like oh. that. Yeah, hardcore, um, that's good. Yeah, and then... Slowly, I started feeling that my body wanted more fruit. So as much as I loved the flavor and taste of my salad juices, I noticed that the vibration of fruits was higher for me mm-hmm. at that moment. And it, I felt it speeded up the healing process as mm-hmm. well. And also 
with my clients, when I work with my clients, when the cases are hard like that, when the cases are more serious, we speed up the process with monofruit juice fast. Mm -hmm. That is the, the fastest way to go in any condition, basically. It takes away the inflammation almost immediately within wow. three to seven days. You know, the same would happen with the vegetable and fruit juices mixed. Mm -hmm. depending on the condition but usually by the day three so the first three days are the hardest ones <laughs> are, yeah. a lot of mental things are coming out right and a lot of people get scared and a lot of emotions and you know the body gets readjusted all of those things mm -hmm. and it it puts a person into a state of hard transition I would yeah. say yeah when it takes time to readjust and get used to the new life you're embarking on yeah and by the day seven a lot of people feel relief increase of energy for sure if we don't see the increase of energy by the day seven we're doing something that is needs to be corrected needs to be shifted changed you know uh, that we see the progress so yeah but yeah. and then and then slowly my body went to fruit and I would do like mixed fruit juices, apples, ginger, lemon, turmeric, all that goodness, grapes with apples. And then I wanted grape juice, only yeah. grape juice. I wow. was, I just want grapes more and more. Give me more grapes. And so when I went on only grapes, I felt even, even more fantastic. I became a magnet to luck, I would say. Wow. <laughs> Even though I, I always felt that I used my mind and my spirit to manifest great things in my life. I'm very thankful for everything I, I had, even though it wasn't easy always, you know, moving to different country, changing my life completely and being sick for many years, being on many, many medications, it was a different life. And so now when I'm here, my body ask, is asking for different things. Yeah. So I went to grapes and then organic watermelons came to Colorado. And I just, yes, I cannot show that. Amazing. And I feel like I just did five days on watermelons recently and I felt so good and so clear and like all resistance went away. And I feel like I was manifesting more. And I know, so I know you went into this for the health reasons, but were there other benefits you noticed, like for doing such a juice fest? Have you noticed a lot of benefits or like how you felt overall? Of course. Yes, I definitely, whatever we do with our body affects our mind and spirit and vice versa. We are connected. So when when we do something different like that with our body something that is not mainstream things change and firstly it's mental emotional energetic spiritual all of those things start shifting start taking different shape and form mm -hmm. and my mental state changed completely of course yoga helps a lot with that so it was as i said conjunction in collaboration of choosing and yoga when the mind clears almost completely I would say because right now I really enjoy silence mm -hmm. you know I I love my morning meditations and I enjoy just being there just being in the present moment and I noticed that state of mind that state of now that Eckhart Tolle talks about yeah the power of now. now yeah the power of now yes i i feel this i feel it embodied wow and it's very it takes integration to accept this state of mind because it's hard a lot of chatter around us there's so much going on and right now when i go outside i feel that everything is so fast yeah we keep moving we keep running we keep rushing somewhere and it feels to me people always run out of time or so that feels to them like this and my perception of time changed completely on this just fast yeah um one day i woke up and i realized that it's not 
from outside in something is going to change it's rather going to come from out inside out Mm -hmm. and the timing that I I struggled sometimes with like okay I don't have enough time to do this project or that project I realigned and I rearranged my whole schedule not towards the external goals but towards my heart center and it felt so much empowering and so much aligned and it worked wow and I came out of the timing that society put on me and it made my life much more easier. So what changed on this juice fast is the perception of life is the simplicity Mm -hmm. that is right there on the surface and we sometimes just don't see it. And I was there, I didn't see it either. You know, I was running, I was rushing, I was doing things that were not contributing to my well-being, to my health, to my peace. And of course, another big thing that changed on the juice fast is just the full alignment of the spirit feels comfortable in a healthy body. Yeah. It's it's nice to to be in a vessel that is clean, that is functioning properly, that carries this energy of fluidity, that all the chakras are open, it's flowing, you know, and also being connected, yeah. Exactly. It feels more connected to everything, to nature, to 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 plants, to things like that. I started gardening. I, I went back to digging in the soil and I feel so much rewarding. I think another important thing I wanted to bring up that changed in this juice fast is my vision improved dramatically. Wow. <laughs> I know a lot of my followers ask me about vision because I have myopia so I couldn't I cannot see far very well and I need I need to wear glasses or contact so the first thing I noticed in about day 30 of this juice fast the 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 colors the brightness and the depth perception were so much different (laughs) and then as I was going on with my juice fast the night vision improved as well so I was able to drive the car and just enjoy the view. And then I also started doing eye exercises. Wow. And and it brought me even further because in the morning, I don't need glasses. In the evening, I don't need glasses. And I use it just for driving, you know, and it's so amazing. And I was like, even was it even possible to do this thing? And you don't, so you don't need the glasses at all now? I do. I do wear yeah. uh, glasses to drive. I do wear glasses to oh. look very far. Yeah. But I noticed that it keeps improving. So it, wow. I need it less and less. And yes, it's it's amazing. Amazing. That's inc- I've noticed it's- even being raw vegan, my prescription's gone down a few points. And it's crazy. I noticed that. I remember, I don't know how long after being raw, and I had no glasses or contacts in, and I was watching the TV, and I was like, wait a second, I can see everything. What is going on? Like, I went to the doctor, my prescription went down. And my eyes got eyesight's got a lot better. And that's interesting because whenever I've done juice fast or mono fruit fast, I notice my vision gets even better. So it's very interesting. And I want to ask you, so a lot of people think a juice fast is crazy expensive. Have you been able to keep it on a budget? Do you know what you've been spending roughly for anybody who might ask? And I have to ask you about weight because people always ask, has your weight changed on the juice fast as well? Yeah, sure. So yeah, people ask me about cost a lot too. I would say when you do mixed juices like different fruits, different vegetables, so you do a variety, you do complex recipes, it does get expensive. Uh, It might get anywhere from like $100 a week to $200 a week, depending, you know, it can get even more expensive. Yeah. If you do the something like watermelons. Uh, right now, I went to a grocery store. I got two watermelons for nine dollars. They're gigantic. Oh. So one more one watermelon would make you a gallon of juice at least. Again, depends on the size, but at least that's going to be your daily amount of juice if you do the morning juice fast. Mm-hmm. And it was right nine dollars for a watermelon. So. That's how much you would spend. The same mm. would go for grapes, probably in the season, maybe a little more expensive. 
I would say the melons are most budget friendly and they are one of the most cleansing fruits for lymphatic system. Yeah. And that is what we are targeting when we work with expression of diseases like that. Mm-hmm. With any basically disease, it's going to be the fastest route to get to the state of when you cleanse your lymphatic system very rapidly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when you do mix juices, it might get expensive. What I always suggest to my clients is try to hit farmers who live around you if you do have this opportunity sometimes you can make a great deal with them you know just tell them your story tell them you need that for your health or whatever they they sell you a bunch of fresh fruits or vegetables a lower price you know you keep coming back to them you develop relationship Mm -hmm. as well there are a lot of community services that sometimes people don't know about at least here in the united states in where i live We do have food banks where sometimes clients that I work with, if they can't afford something, they can go over there and get some organic fruits and vegetables, you know, Mm -hmm. find about the community gardens and also befriend your grocery store, Yeah, you know, managers. (laughs) So true. (laughs) And they're great. Yeah. You can ask them to bring things in and for case discounts and they're great. Well, you've done amazing. And have there been any negatives? I know like, Of all the juice fasts I've done, I've done so many juice fast interviews and I'll try link a playlist below of them all, but there's very rare somebody, even usually I'll ask for negatives and they'll sit and think for like a few minutes. There was only one girl that said she passed out on day 60. Otherwise I haven't heard anything negative and she kept going. I probably would have stopped them, but did anything bad happen or any negatives along the way? Well, not Really, I wouldn't say I'm not definitely I didn't pass out. I have a lot of energy like yeah. never before. When things like this happen with people, a lot of times we're not aware that our organs might not work properly. You know, when people pass out on a juice fast or mm-hmm. any kind of serious health condition comes up, we need to work on restoring the organs and glands our glandular system our endocrine system this is very important it's like stage two of the healing process first is detoxification then is rebuilding regeneration of our body Mm -hmm. so it can function again so out of i wouldn't say on my first long term just fast i think the negative or i cannot even call it that way because it was a learning process Mm -hmm. you know it was uh, those were beautiful lessons As I said, I started feeling this loneliness, you know, Mm -hmm. or as if I was losing my friends. I felt that, you know, after leaving my marriage, that people that I attracted were still kind of vibrating on the same level of the traumatic level that I was going through. And so that put me like back. to negative thinking, I would say a little bit. So that was the negative at that time. Mm-hmm. This time, I would say everything is really beautiful. Of course, I do go through emotional experiences, emotional cleanses on this juice fast. It's sometimes it's rough. You know, we also carry generational things with us. We are not just separated beings. We are connected to everyone. True. And so things come up that I wasn't aware of that I carried from generations ago and I need to work them out. So those are things that people might call on the negative side. For me personally, those things are, as I said, beautiful learning experiences, understanding who I am as a soul who came to this planet, mm-hmm. understanding why I'm here and understanding my shadow sides as well Mm -hmm. and and learning how to work with them and how to love them too so yeah yeah wow amazing well this has been so amazing hearing your story I think you're incredible and you're glowing and there's just like happiness radiating out of you I can tell you're just feeling like extra high vibe and you're on the right path and it's a beautiful path and it's just amazing you've shared this with us and if there's anything else you feel like you want to end off with or any advice for somebody that might be going through a hard time or a toxic relationship themselves or anything you feel like we missed that you'd like to share, anything people ask you about, then absolutely, I'd love for you to share that. 
Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come here. Yeah. I would like to share that a lot of people, you know, they ask how to heal. And I call my followers beautiful self-healers because I believe strongly that each and every one of us have this immense capacity of self-healing and it guides us that the guidance is there and people like you who bring together back you know all this goodness and light of all those self-healers on your channel you know and all those self-healers on my small channel <laughs> so yeah just be there guys for yourself love yourself no matter what you're going through you know if it's a rough time if if it's a dark time you're there for yourself and one day you will find your path you will find your way just just be there for you and love yourself that's the most important thing i think the healing starts with love this beautiful universal all-encompassing love that is embracing us as as the children of this planet and truly bringing us together and yeah. it's 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 hard sometimes to to love ourselves when we think oh we did something or oh, i mm -hmm. i went to eat this cooked food again right or i don't know i i gained a lot of weight oh we forgot to talk about weight oh yeah your weight loss yeah <laughs> yes I'll, I'll talk about it in a second yeah uh, and just yes just realize you you're the light and the light is guiding you and the darkness is just a part of the journey and you're strong enough if you want to embark on a juice fast you're strong enough and the plants the fruits and vegetables themselves they're our allies and they're going to support us mm -hmm. in this in this journey spiritual physical and mental and energetic yeah. and the the weight loss I was 136 pounds when I started my juice fast on August 26, 2022. And I am 115 pounds as of today, <laughs> May 22, 2023. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, that's yeah. not bad. That, and you look great. You know, you know, I think yeah. some people think you'll waste away to nothing, but I mean, I feel like that seems healthy. You know, it's not, yeah. you didn't lose like a crazy amount. I feel like maybe you just lost what you're, what felt right for that time. Wow. Well, thank yeah, you. I felt, yeah, I lost exactly the same amount as I lost on my previous long-term juice fast, which wow. was all wow. the waste, waste from my colon, basically, yeah. which is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> right? I'm going to do a juice uh, fast in the fall. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And now I just have, I have muscles. I didn't lose any muscles. I practice a lot of yoga every day and I do fitness. I do bicycle. I run. I'm very, very active yeah so I also climb so I and then I run after my son so yeah there is which no, that's a uh, lot <laughs> yes <laughs> okay yeah I have that's... two kids yeah well that's amazing oh. thanks for sharing I think you're such a beautiful person and I love just like I love speaking to people when they're on a juice fest this far in because I know you're just so connected and in tune and just have so much brilliance to say and you you have you've blown us away it's amazing and thank you for sharing. And I wish you nothing but the best with your health and happiness, prosperity, your life, relationships, everything. And I'll link everything down below in case anybody wants to work with you or follow your website and all that as well. Everything will be down below. Go follow Anastasia under Luminous Raw. And I love you guys, the viewers. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.